to another video. For today's video, you can probably tell by the title, but I'm going to show you how to get this makeup look. It's a quick and simple makeup look. Um, and, spoiler alert, I don't use any foundation. <gasps> that is such a shock. But yeah, um, I just kind of wanted to show you a quick and simple makeup look, which I tend to use because I'm lazy like that. And I don't do my makeup all the time probably should but I don't but you know still I wanted to share it with you guys because it's kind of like a new thing I've been doing at the moment and yeah I hope you guys enjoy and let's jump into the video disclaimer I've literally got wet hair through the whole of this video because I'm trying out this new thing where you can get you can spray your hair and it makes it like nice and wavy so yeah you have to do it when it's damp and I couldn't be bothered waiting for it to dry so yeah so that is why I have wet hair. <laughs> now you can go to the video. <laughs> so obviously the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to moisturise. That is like a must that I need to do. So I use this L'Oreal Paris Triple Active Day Cream and it's for dry and sensitive skin because I have quite dry skin. And yeah, it's a multi-protection day moisturiser. So that is what it looks like. And I use this every morning anyway, but it's always good to moisturise before you put makeup on. So, yeah. I just kind of like dot it around. And it smells so nice as well. It smells ridiculously nice. Sorry, I'm just getting a little mirror so I can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> So that is done. Oh my god, I literally haven't realised how red my skin actually is recently. It's so bad. Um, so which brings me on to using the first product, which is going to be concealer. I'm so unorganised, I literally have nothing in front of me. So the concealer that I use is the True Match L'Oreal Paris and it's in the shade Rose Ivory. So it's just like this container. And I don't know, I've been using this a while and I actually really love it. So I kind of, I've always used this concealer, but I do want to try other things as well. So I'm just going to pop it like, I always pop it on my nose because I always have like something red on my nose. It's so annoying. And then on my chin. I've got like a few spots, which I like to cover up. And also, just like, I always have these random red bits, like, can you see, like here, it's just like randomly red and I don't know why, but I like to cover that up, which helps with the under eye because obviously you can take the concealer up, and I also like to do it on my forehead because I always have red blotches on my forehead because that's like my most prone part to the spots is my forehead which is so annoying and then I also have it on my eyes because I have quite dark eyes so I'll just pop it like that and that is my makeup done thank you guys so much for watching just kidding um <laughs> imagine if I actually went out like this so it's so embarrassing so anyway I'm just going to grab my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that in I just kind of like to dot it. I feel like my, it's been so cold recently. So I put the heating on and I feel like my makeup's just melted. <laughs> it's never normally this runny. But it's working this runny. So maybe I need to do it more often that way. <laughs> I need to start doing makeup more often like I'm so lazy in the morning like I just won't do makeup for work I'd rather have like the extra hour in bed <laughs> that's how lazy I am it's so bad I need to make more of an effort I think am I the only one like that that prefer would rather just like spend extra time in bed than 
do makeup or does anyone else is anyone else like that i know i was having this conversation with my friend before um she was doing my nails and she is exactly the same at the moment but she never used to be she used to be all into her makeup and everything but she was saying like recently she just can't be bothered and she'd rather have like extra time in bed which i totally relate but i never used to be bothered with my makeup but i feel like i just need to make more of an effort to be honest I just go about on about random, random, random stuff when I'm doing makeup, especially when I'm filming. Won't be surprised if I cut half of this out that I'm talking about. <laughs> I just go on about random things that people don't even want to hear, but I mean, YOLO. I'm bringing, I literally want to bring YOLO back. Like, it was just so funny to just go, YOLO, literally needs to come back. Everyone's going to be commenting like, that's so cheesy, Sarah. Like, why? I don't know if it's a good thing I've got a black top on or not because the powder I'm going to be using in a bit is probably going to go everywhere. Anyway, so I forgot to tell you where this beauty blender was from. It's actually just a super drug one. <laughs> Nothing special. <laughs> but yeah, so next I'm going to go in with powder to set it. It's a perfect finish HD powder. It's from e.l.f and it's just like a translucent powder. It looks really white here. But yeah, like I got this the other day and it's got like a bottom compartment in it, but it didn't have anything in it. So I don't know if there was supposed to be something in it or what, but I never use the applicators that come with the things anyway, so I'm not too fussed. But yeah, I'm just gonna go in with this Real Technique um, contour brush it's just perfect for what I need it for and I'm literally just gonna go over where I put my concealer just to kind of set it this is where I'm gonna get it all over me I'm literally gonna get it all over me oh well anything for the video Violence in the court. I literally concentrate so much, like sometimes I don't actually say anything. Oh my god, should not have worn black. It goes everywhere. <laughs> don't you think you see that? That's literally all down there. Mm -hmm. Why have I done this sat down? Should have just done it so it didn't go on. Sarah, why do you do these things? It's even going in my hair. What is that about? If I didn't have this spray in, my hair would be so tied up right now. Look at it. So, that is done for now. So now, it's time for bronzer. I couldn't remember the words. It's time for bronzer. So the bronzer that I'm going to use is the Wet n Wild Press Powder, Photo Focus, and yeah, I just absolutely love this. Um, it's so affordable. As you can see, I've used it quite a lot, and I don't think it has, oh, it's a color. There you go, Natural Beige. That's the color. Can you see it? Natural Beige. Focus for like a second then. Literally so annoying, this camera. But yeah, so I'm gonna go over the powder with my Wet n Wild Pressed Powder. It just gives that little colour to my face and I'm literally just gonna go all over with that. This is like literally my new makeup routine because I'm just like, if I do decide that I actually want to do makeup, I never do like a proper face like for a day and I tested it out the other day and I like really 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 liked it so far I'll do a video on it so that is what I'm doing because it was dead funny because like my friend at work she was like oh, 
that that foundation is really nice and i was like i don't have foundation on and she's like what have you done and i was like concealer and powder basically she was like no way and i was like yep she was like it looks so good and i was like oh thank you oh and i had a bit of blush on as well because you know gotta get them cheeks back in can't just look pale but it's literally like all I've been doing. Oh, and I also do my brows, so that kind of finishes off my mascara. But for face wise, I literally just do this, what I'm doing now. And it's just so much like less effort. So maybe I should make more of an effort of like doing stuff because if I do this every day, it's not going to take two seconds. It's only taking me a long now because I'm literally like having a chat whilst I'm doing it. So, yeah. So is powder from yeah I literally use two sets of powder that's so weird anyway brush myself ah hit my funny bone Um, brush myself down right this this hair stuff better turn out really good otherwise I am going to be fuming anyway um because I've never done a video with my hair not been done <laughs> First time for everything, I suppose. Now, I need to find my blush. And I really need to like, I've not even told you where this blush is from. <laughs> I really need to clean my makeup brushes. Anyway, this is the Rimmel London blush and it's called Live Pink in 050. It's just this little thing and I've had this for ages and just keep reusing it. And the brush that I'm going to be using is a Real Techniques buffing brush. And yeah, I'm just gonna do it on obviously the apples of my cheeks. I kinda do it in a circle motion and go up. But I mean, that just works for me. And then the other side. And that is all for them. <laughs> this is such a quick and simple makeup look. Now. I am going to do my brows. It was actually like looking at me, so we got good there. Now, the only problem is at the moment, I need my brows doing, so I've got like little strays there. So we're just gonna ignore that because I'm gonna show you what I do. And I don't even feel it in that dark because I, when I get my eyes, my brows done, my eyes done, my brows done, I get them tinted, so I don't really need to fill them in. But we're just gonna go In with them just a little bit just to make them look a bit more fuller because I don't like to make them too dark when I've not had them done I never used to do my brows I've just started doing them recently so as you can see it's just a little bit darker and again on the other side I fully have to concentrate with these I literally just don't even film me much I just want to make sure it looks like I have breath so yeah that's pretty much my brows I don't have a routine for that and the make the brow pencil that I use is a revolution yeah it's revolution color stay brow pencil in the color soft brown 210 so like all of these, I probably should have closed this before I started doing the powder. All of this that I'm using is literally like super drug and boots, like literally. Yes, so then the next thing that I'm going to do is mascara and then I'm pretty much done. I don't even know where my mascara goes. I'm so unorganized. <laughs> yeah, I found it. So this is my go-to mascara. Literally every single video, this is the mascara that I use, and yeah, I just always use it. <laughs> I'm in such a weird mood. Um, so it is the Max Factor X False Lash Effect. I don't even know if they do these anymore. I've had it that long. I probably should change it, but I'm just too scared to change it. Um, and it's obviously a natural look mascara, and it's just black, and it's just in this case. But it's either this case has changed, or they don't do it anymore. I mean if you focus um so yeah I don't really know I need to figure that out 
but then we're just going to pop it on and I only pop it on the top lashes oh no <laughs> I just got mascara on my nose oh that's so fun look look how the difference is with one done and one not like I live for this mascara so much why am I going American? It's not even American server because you're not good with accents. Yeah. And that is literally all I do. Yeah. I almost forgot one thing that I do afterwards and it's literally to set the whole face. And I've been loving it recently. So, I've been loving this Mario Bastille. Mario Bastardo, I don't know how to say it. Um, this from Beauty Bay. Oh my god, it's like amazing. So you literally, it's literally just you can set the makeup with it, and it's also it's a facial spray with aloe vera, herbs, and rose water. So it keeps your your skin so hydrated whilst you've got makeup on. And I literally always use it to set the face. smells so amazing as well and then yeah that is like the last bit that I do and there you have it <laughs> so this is my makeup look and I've been feeling for 20 minutes and it doesn't normally take me that long it's just because I like to chat but yeah <laughs> this is my makeup look it's really simple quick makeup look um, for like people like me who like to sleep in that a little bit longer and literally if you get your brows done and get them tinted you don't even need to do your brows so that's another thing off the list but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and it's a little bit something different because I don't really do many makeup channel channels makeup channels makeup videos on this channel but yeah I hope you enjoyed and maybe just if any of these tips like you do as well please let me know or if you got any other makeup tips please let me know in the comments below I'm laughing because I'm getting distracted by the mirror that's outside of me because I can see myself so vain anyway that is the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you did in the comments below and if you have any other video suggestions let me know too and yeah give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you are new or you watch these videos and you're not subscribed because quite a lot of people do because I can see please subscribe because it is free you don't have to pay for it it's legit free um so yeah please subscribe and thank you for watching so I'll see you next week with another video bye